So hey guys, sa video na ito, tuturuan ko kayo ng mga keywords na kailangan nyong tandaan pag nakikita nyo sa isang problem, anong operation ang inyong gagamitin. So usually, sa mga word problems, especially sa age problems, ang ginagamit na operation dyan ay addition, subtraction, at multiplication multiplication so sa addition uh, yung plus sign lang yan so alam naman natin yung sa elementary alam na subtraction negative sign negative or minus sign multiplication is usually times or parenthesis hey, naka redundant na tayo guys kasi yan parenthesis and um Multiplication is times x. Pero, since algebra tayo, hindi natin gagamitin ng x, ha? X si x. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So, yan. For, ano lang, for purposes, for demonstration purposes, para malaman nyo. Ayan. So, addition, usually, pag nasa age problems yan, mga keywords na dapat yung tandaan sa addition, for example, ay Martha is 5 years older than. Pag, sinati, pag sinabi natin older than, usually, yung lalagyan natin, yung x ay mag a tayo. So, older than. Doon tayo mag a sa x. x plus, 2x plus, 3x plus. Kasi may nakalagay na older than. So, older than, tapos, pwede ding, uh, sa second natin na mga ano, is in blank years. In blank years. So, ganyan. In blank years. Yan. Ibig sabihin yan, future kasi ang pinag-uusapan dyan sa in blank years. So, if if it means future, if it means future, magdadagdag ka ng mga years. So, in blank years. Meron din yung blank years from now. Blank years from now. So, blank years from now, ibig sabihin, they are also anticipating the future. So, if you are anticipating the future, you will add again. So, addition yan ha, addition yan guys. Addition. Older than, in blank years, blank years from now. So, yun yung mga common na nakikita ko sa mga age problems. So, kapag may naisip pa kayong mga other words or other keywords, just comment on the comment box below comment box. Okay, yeah. So, sa subtraction naman, subtraction, subtraction naman, yan yung pag sinabi nating older than, so, younger than. Opposite of older than. So, younger than. Younger than. Younger than. Hindi ka marunong kumanta. Huwag ka na kumanta. Okay, younger than. So, pag sinabi nating um, Pepe, Oh my God. So, Pepe is younger than Maria. So, mag, uh, si Maria yung X. And then, so, mag, ma-minus ka ng ilang. Bang Pepe is 2 years younger than Maria. So, mar, X si Maria, X minus 2 si Pepe. So, younger than, magsasubtraction ka. Na, pwede ding magsasubtract ka kapag blank years ago. Ayan. So, pag sinabi natin 5 years ago, so yung present age natin or yung present time natin, magma-minus ka lang ng 5. So, x minus 5. Ganyan. Um, ano pa ba? Wala na ako naiisip eh. So, years ago. So, usually yun lang eh. Younger than and then years ago. So, kapag meron pa kayong naisip, you can comment below para sa discussion natin. So, how about multiplication? Usually, pag multiplication yan, magkakaroon tayo ng twice. Nagamit yan twice eh. Twice the age of nye nye is yun nye nye. Twice, magmultiply ka nyan. Paano ba ang twice? That's two times. Pag thrice, that's three times. Pag sinabi namin, blank times, that's, ang isang pa is, 4 times the age of Karen is 
two more than the age of Brian. Mga ganun. So, pag times, yan, magmumultiply ka. Magmumultiply ka dyan. So, ito yung mga nakikita kong na, na, na-encounter ko na mga keywords sa mga problems natin. So, addition, we have older than, in blank years, blank years from now, subtraction, younger than, blank years ago, and multiplication, we have twice, thrice, and times. Blank times the age of. Mga ganyan, the age of. So, yan. Patandaan nyo yan, guys. Yan yung magiging um, guidepost natin sa mga next videos na ating i-discuss ang age problems. So, see you on the next video.